Hi class, I'm Emily Crowley and I'm interviewing Sneed B. Collar the Third. <laughs> what are your hobbies? My hobbies? Well, I like to g do big game hunting in Africa every weekend, but the planes take so long that I don't do them very often. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what I really do is I like to do puzzles. I like to walk my dog and go hiking in the summers. I live in Montana, and I like to do whitewater rafting a little bit. Nothing too scary, but just a little bit. And mostly just riding bikes and hanging out with my kids. Um, what made you want to ride? I think a lot of things, but the main thing is I was a big-time reader when I was growing up. And we didn't have all these wonderful books for young people that you guys have now. But I did read things like The Hardy Boys Mysteries and The Lord of the Rings and things like that. And so I'd say that was the biggest factor in my becoming a writer. Okay. Um, who inspires you? I'm inspired by my family and by scientists that I meet. And mostly just by people's stories. Everyone's got fascinating stories and I love writing about people's stories. And nature inspires me a lot, too. The environment and biology and animals, especially. Um, can you tell me about your family? My family, I've got a daughter whose name is Tessa, and she's six years old, and a son named Brayden. And my wife's name is Amy, and we always include our border collie, Maddie. And so she's part of the family, too. But that. And then also here in Missouri, I've got a lot of family, and I'm getting to meet a lot of them, like you. So I'm very lucky. I've got a lot of wonderful family members. Um, do you have any books coming out? Yeah, I have a couple books coming out. I've got an insect book next year coming out, and I've also got a couple of new mysteries. I'm hoping to have a third Slate Stevens mystery out by next year. And I also have a new novel, new mystery that's coming out about a boy who really loves orchids. And he's in line waiting to see the world's rarest orchid at the National Botanical Garden one day when a giant crane comes crashing through the roof and actually kills the woman in front of him where he was standing in line. And of course the orchid gets stolen when that happens. So the rest of the book he's trying to find the world's rarest orchid. Um. How many awards have you gotten? Probably 15 or 20 about different things. Um, some books win individual awards, like my book Shep, Our Most Loyal Dog, won two or three awards. And I was, I've won a couple of awards just as a nonfiction writer. Uh, my favorite award that I won was from the uh, Authors Guild, or is that what it was called? The Washington Post Children's Authors Guild back in Washington, D.C. And they threw a big banquet in my honor, and that was really a lot of fun. Okay. Do you have any other, do you remember any other awards you've gotten? Some other awards? Well, like I mentioned, Shep won uh, the Montana Reader's Choice Award and the Western Spur Award and the Triple Crown Award, which is nice. And then I wrote a book called The Prairie Builders, which I researched up in Iowa, and that won the best science book of the year for, I think, the year 2005. So that was a nice award to get, too. Would you please say hi to Mrs. Baker's fourth grade class at, Ele at Elkhorn Elementary? Hi, Mrs. Baker's fourth grade class at Elkhorn Elementary. Isn't she awesome? <laughs>